guys, how's it going? Matt checking in. Just on the road home from work today. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. It's been a while since I made one coming from the car. So, thought I'd do that real quick. Really awesome day today. Uh, as most of you guys know, I live in Southern Oregon, just above the California border. And you know, to be completely honest, we don't get a whole lot of celebrities here. So when I heard that my favorite chef from the Food Network, Chef Robert Irvine, runs this awesome show called uh, Restaurant Impossible, where failing business owners that own restaurants can apply to the show. The show comes here, they do a two-day transformation on the restaurant. Excuse me. Uh, they remodel the entire place on the inside. Um, they work out the issues between the owner and the crew, if there is any. And if there's issues with the food, they change the menu and show them new better ways to make things and make them more profitable and uh, you know I've seen episodes where he's donated you know ten thousand dollars of his own money to the restaurant owner to help him save their house or something like that because a lot of business owners take a second mortgage on their home try to keep their business afloat so he's always been a huge inspiration to me uh, and I'll add a picture of him here at some point in this video, dude is built like a pro wrestler, man. He is, I'm 5'10", he's 5'10", but standing next to him, I felt so flabby and out of shape. And, uh, you know, and I'm I'm on my journey, but he is just built like the Incredible Hulk, man. It was awesome. Um, funny little story, I waited outside the restaurant for about an hour for him. It was just a little town of, uh, 21,000 people so not very many people were there waiting to meet him I got a picture with this carpenter guy Tom that they always have on the show does all the remodels and I waited and I waited got a picture with Tom and then chef came out and I said oh my gosh hi chef and uh, he said hey how's it going I said hey man I know you're really busy can I bother you for a picture. He's like, yeah, real quick, real quick. We're getting going on the show here. So I got a picture with him. Another couple got a picture with him. I tweeted him yesterday about meeting up with them. And he looks at me and he goes, hey, you're the guy that tweeted me, right? And I said, yes. So that was really sweet um, because he knew I was coming. So then I asked him for an autograph. My wife and I printed out an eight by 10 photo for him to sign for my wife because she couldn't come because we didn't know for sure when I was going to get to meet him. First it was 6 a.m., then it was 8 a.m., and then it was noon, and I got to see him finally about 1 o'clock. And uh, I really appreciate him taking the time to do a picture with me, by the way. So anyway, I hand him a calligraphy pen. Not even a calligraphy pen. It's a marker designed for signing pictures. It doesn't work. It's only been used once before. It doesn't work. So he gives a little shake, starts writing again, a little bit comes out. And he's like, uh, your pen, uh, yeah, kind of sucks. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. And he finished signing something on the picture, my wife's name, and something else. <laughs> and he hands me the pen and he says, this is a shit pen. <laughs> and it was so awesome because I didn't get offended where where I felt like he was being mean I just thought it was so fucking cool because he was exactly like he is on the television program on this TV program he tells people how it is if their business is failing he tells them this is what you got to do if you don't do it you're not gonna make it and it was just so awesome that he was so forthright and straight up I mean it was outwardly I think I was shocked because I was kind of disappointing him with the quality of my pen but on the inside I was smiling and laughing and it was awesome anyway I'll throw the picture up here I was wearing this horrible hat in the picture I wish I would have taken it off and shown my beautiful bald head to the world but that's all right you guys know me you guys love me how I am I appreciate it anyway 
I should probably let you guys go. Eventually, a police officer is going to pull me over for filming myself in the car. But I will see you guys later. Don't forget, set those goals, kick them in the face, and never give up on achieving your dreams. Talk to you later.